behold, dude, we got another Fragrance World banger. Listen, guys, Fragrance World is on another level right now. Like, they're crushing it. Um, Latafa always, right? You hear Latafa, 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 but Fragrance World, they they just, they doing some crazy work right now. So, if you didn't know, now you know. And today, we're reviewing none other by Fragrance World, well, the subsidiary company of Fragrance World, French Avenue, which is right there. We're talking about Lumiere Garçon. And I don't even know if I'm saying that right, but it sounds so fire. Guys, let's get into our first initial impressions and smelling this amazing Fragrancia by French Avenue. Let's go ahead and, uh, woo, and get to it, fam. Let's talk about it. Alrighty, what is really good, familia? Today, I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in and rocking with your boy. Almost at 1K, guys. Almost at 1K. So, again, I appreciate you guys, man. So excited. If you haven't already, like this video. Comment down below. Let me know you are here and present. Also, if you were looking to go ahead and purchase any fragrances, in the description down below, you will find some links there. Those links are going to go ahead and take you to a bunch of different fragrances as well as perfumeonline.ca. If you go ahead and use my discount code with this company, they were kind enough to go ahead and extend that discount code, Jonah. Five. And you can use it. I believe you can use it as many times as you want as well. So, you know, go ahead and save some money. Jonah Five. All right, fam. So, Lumiere Garçon or Lumiere Garçon. This is going to be by French Avenue. And already, I'm like, you know, French Avenue is killing it. They also have great taste in boxes, man. Their boxes are dope. I love French Avenue's work. So, this right here is like these rigid... It's got like a little pattern there and the top here as well. And this has a sleeve. So it's a box sleeve and the sleeve has like some type of, feels like it's almost like a velvety type material. Really, really nice. What is that, velvet? No, you guys don't know about that coming to America? Epic. All right guys, so French Avenue Lumiere Garçon, again, right here. Man, I can't, this, they, they crush it. They crush it, like honestly guys, even designer fragrances don't go this hard. I'm just saying. You go to Macy's, go to Dillard's, something to show you a box. You get that average, whatever it is that these designers be putting in. It's like, bro, step your game. <laughs> what? Yo. Yo, this is wild. Look at this. They serve it to you on a freaking platter. All right, guys, this is crazy. This is a big bottle. I don't even want to, like, touch this. Like, this is, oh, no. Hey, yo, pause. This feels hella nice. All right, guys, right there. Let's just take this off. Velvety base right there. Like, this like a freaking trophy. And, guys, let's go ahead and take a look at this beautiful juice right there, as you can see. And just for perspective, right, if you know anything about, let's see, uh, Liquid Brune, like, that's a comparison right there to the bottle. This is a big bottle in comparison to other bottles. If you're not familiar, here you go, let's do the Hawas. Look at that. So, it's, it's a pretty nice bottle, okay? And guys, this is going to be some type inspiration of, I believe, well, I don't know if it's a, a clone of Dolce Gabbana, the one exclusive edition or something like that. I think it's like an exclusive edition one that is no longer available, I believe, was discontinued. So, if I'm wrong about that, I'm sorry. That's, that's what I think, I tried to do some little bit of homework and I think I saw that it was out of stock in many places. They don't even carry that fragrance anywhere. It's very difficult to find. So this is going to be a beautiful fragrance that's going to pretty much some of the accords that you're going to find in this fragrance are going to be fresh, spicy, uh, a little bit aromatic, some sweet, ambery accords as well. So on the top of this fragrance here, you're going to find black pepper, basil bergamot on the top along in the mids you're gonna find dates sage and geranium i don't smell anything as of yet off the cap and on the base we're gonna find amber incense and sandalwood so i'm excited french avenue look at the details man look at the details there on the cap the top of the atomizer right there look at the bottom right there as well the french avenue right there this bottle is really beautiful. It's elegant, super, super elegant. The cap is just massive and it's pretty hollow, but
but it's a massive cap. So, all right, guys, enough talking, enough yapping. Let's go ahead and get to experiencing the fragrance. You know, my motto is it's always better on skin. Hey, yo, always better on skin, but... Um, you know, we like to test it on strips just cause, just for the comparison, you know what I'm saying? So, let's go ahead and get to spray in here. Let's talk about this atomizer. Let's see if it's good or not. Okay. Not a bad atomizer. It's not pressurized whatsoever. Whoa, okay. Wow, this is nice. This is nice. This is nice. This is really... Sometimes I see fragrances and colors, like the notes, when they hit me, I translate what I'm smelling through colors. When I think of this, I picture rich, dark, like a brown color, exactly like those dates. Wow. They were not lying. The dates smell so good on this. Wow, this is really good. I'm even getting leather. I don't even think leather is part of the notes, but I'm getting that leather with the dates. Oh my God, this is real. This is up my alley, man. These deep, dark, rich notes. When, when I mention rich, deep, dark, think of espresso, not like watered down coffee. No, I'm talking about espresso, rich, flavorful espresso or think of dark cocoa, like things that are rich in nature, just very rich in flavor. Oh, this is so good. The sandalwood is coming out. So let's take it from the top to the bottom. On, on strip, this is smelling absolutely magnificent. But we're going to go with skin. Because you know, it's all about the skin. Now, I have been testing some fragrances. So let's go ahead and get a part of my skin that is not used. All right. Woo! Good distribution there. Good distribution. Hey. <laughs> Let me switch this hand movement over here like this. Doing the Arsenio Hall. Woo, woo. All right, guys. Woo! Listen, I got to spray it on top, too. Yeah. Crazy distribution on the atomizer. All right, guys. This is amazing. On the open, black pepper immediately. Oh, this smells so good on skin. And I see, yo, some. I had a couple comments. With people saying, you know, give everything a good score. You love everything you smell. Well, if I spent my money on it, my friend, I'm going to spend my money on something that I enjoy, not something that I'm going to hate on. You know, I, I have, there's levels to this. So once we start leveling it up even more, then I can start getting fragrances that I'm not too sure of, fragrances that are sent to me, that are gifted to me, where I can be like, I, I don't know if I'm going to like this. Like, it's a risk. Ah, oh, this is beautiful. Dates, spicy, off the top. That basil, there's that basil note really just takes you for a spin. Ah, oh, that smells so good. That basil smells so good. I love it. What I love what it does in the opening. It kind of just immediately you're met with that sweet, aromatic, slight citrusy from the bergamot, and then you're hit with that dumb dates, like really rich, gorgeous, juicy dates. But then the basil kind of just switches it up and makes you think about something different as well. So it's it's something that will just stop you in your tracks and start making you think about the fragrance in a different way. And I love when notes do that. It's not so linear. Like these notes are gonna go ahead and take you on a little bit of an adventure and I really enjoy that. This is definitely a fall type vibe as well. I can see the spiciness, the black pepper is so good. It's almost like a sugared black pepper. And that's because the dates on there are done so well. And the dates are almost vanillic in nature. Like there's like a vanillic undertone to those dates and it smells amazing. I think the geranium also with the amber, they just they just make it magic together. So guys, Lumiere Garçon is absolutely amazing. I can't compare it to um, Dolce Gabbana, the one, the exclusive one. I've never gotten my nose on that. But what I can tell you, if you're into rich notes, if you're into rich, deep, brown, velvety notes, like these notes that just make you warm. You know what I'm saying? Those really like woodsy, fruity accords, bergamot and the peppery and the sandalwood. Like it's just a concoction of beautiful elements all mixed together. I think this is an amazing fragrance. I, I'm really enjoying this. I can tell already that this is gonna have some really good longevity to it. So if I had to, give my 
rating on this. I'm going to say that Lumiere Garçon is an easy, again, emphasis on the easy. This is an easy, very easy, 9-4. Uh, 9-4. Nine, four. Nine, four. Like, this is really good. It, like, I never want to be without this. This is a great fragrance. Really delicious. Absolutely love it. And as far as occasions, this is, again, dates. This is some grown man type stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is really dates, sophisticated events. This is going to go ahead and be going out. Uh, probably, I can even see chilling at the cigar lounge or going out to the bar with this. But yeah, this is a really beautiful, it's just continuously developing on my skin. The dates is just still there popping along with that woodsy sandalwood, the amber, almost that vanillic undertone to the dates and that black pepper is delicious on this. Like it's a beautiful black pepper. Aromatic, mm, love it, definitely love it. Great aromatic accords on this one too. Yeah guys, so this is a 9.4 absolutely great fragrance anything above a nine in my book is a must-have if you enjoy those types of notes if you enjoy if you're looking for something just to go out on the evening maybe to work to the office business meetings maybe you got a couple deals you want to close on this is a beautiful fragrance to have guys i love it and i think women will absolutely love smelling this on you as well so lumiere garçon by french avenue this is a banger fragrance what do you guys think about this have you guys smelled this one at all if so, what does it remind you of? Let me know down below in the comment section if you're looking for this fragrance or any fragrances that you'd like to go ahead and purchase. Feel free to check down below, look through the link, see if there's something you like. Uh, go ahead, perfumeonline.ca. Also, the link down below to that store directly. If you use Jonah5 as a discount code, you're going to save money. And we all love to save money. So, guys, Road to 1K continues. I appreciate y'all. My fam. Mi familia, my people, mi gente. I'm going to check y'all out on the next one because this right here? <laughs> nah, nah, nah. We got to smell this even more. Yeah, you already know. 10 sprays minimal. Woo! All right, I got to go. Peace.